So this is a very interesting question. The question is, uh, let's say we have a thousand dimensional data and I typically suggest people to apply L1 regularization when they want only a few of the features to be present or feature weights to be present and rest of the useless features to become zero. I typically ask them to apply L1 regularization with a larger value of lambda. The question here is, wouldn't that lead to underfitting? Number one. Number two is, instead of doing this, instead of increasing the value of lambda, why don't we first perform principal component analysis to reduce the dimensionality to 200 and then apply L1 regularization with a smaller value of lambda, right? Very valid point. So let me explain the problems with these points. Number one is, when you apply principal component analysis to reduce the dimensionality from 1000 dimensions to 100 dimensions, your first problem that you'll encounter is TCA does not take class labels into account when it reduces dimensionality, right? So when you're reducing from 1000 dimensions to 200 dimensions, you're not looking at the class labels. You're completely discarding that information of class labels when you're reducing from 1000 dimensions to 200 dimensions. And only thing that TCA cares about is to, uh, to uh, retain as much variance as possible. But variance retaining, right, that PCA tries to achieve may not be the optimal thing for classification. In classification, you don't care about uh, reducing, uh, you don't care about retaining as much variance as possible in the lower dimensions. You only care about, right, your classification performance, right? So if you perform PCA, there is this concern that when you go from high dimensions to low dimensions, since you're not using the class labels, the low dimensional data may have significantly higher error rate than the high dimensional data. Because when you did, when you, when you, when you applied PCA, you're only trying to uh, minimize the features by trying to retain as much variance as possible without any respect to the class labels. On the other hand, when you apply L1 regularization with a larger value of lambda, only those features which are useless to your classification task, their, their, uh, their feature weights would go to zero. So when you try to apply, when you try to increase the value of lambda in your, in your L1 regularization, right? The weight of the L1 regularization, the hyperparameter that we have, as we slowly increase it, more and more and more of useless features, right? Will go to zero which means when I'm taking the approach of using L1 regularization and fine tuning or hyperparameter tuning my lambda, I'm, I'm actually trying to find the optimal value of lambda and the minimum number of features weights that will be retained while also trying to maximize my uh, model performance, right? So instead of going through the PCA route, first perform PCA and then train a model, it is better to directly apply L1 regularization. And of course, you, you're, if your concern is that you'll overfit, you have hyperparameter tuning, hyper tuning on lambda, right? You, you don't see, you take your, uh, you just apply the same method, where on Y axis, you have your performance metric, on your X axis, you have your lambda, and you plot this plot, and you plot how, how your performance changes as lambda, as sorry, as alpha change, as lambda changes, right? And you would find the sweet spot where your performance is also high, of course, and your number of features that will be zeroed out is also reasonable, right? So performing L1 regularization plus lambda hyperparameter tuning is a better choice because you're actually solving the optimization problem and you're trying to solve the classification task here of trying to find the smallest number of features that you can have while your performance is also good. If you go down the PCA route of doing things, the biggest problem is that PCA doesn't care about classification performance, right? So your 200 dimensions that you got from your 1000 dimensions may be highly suboptimal for the task that you have. I'm not saying it will always be. I'm saying it could be, right? So this, this, is, this is the trade-off that you'll have to work with.